I've been trying to figure out the best ways to film making signs and showing you guys how I do it. And I think I've figured it out. So here is a day in the life of creating a certified forklift operators only sign. Now it's pretty easy making signs. I've showed this process before, but at the same time, there's a lot of details that go into it that really make up the whole process. So as you can see, we're gonna cut the vinyl out so that it matches similar to the size of the sign we're gonna put it on. This just makes it easier when I put it through the roller so there's no excess vinyl hanging off. It doesn't get all wrinkled and stuff. And I'm gonna set up my roller. This is what I use to put the vinyl on the sign, making sure my sign is clean and there's no dust particles on it whatsoever. I've sanded it down, cleared it smooth. Then I can put my vinyl on top of that and put it into the roller. Now what's important here is making sure that it's aligned and centered. So when I put it through the roller, it lays on flat. Sometimes it creases and it gets all messed up. Then you do have to start over. We're gonna take one end and just fold it down and crease it so that it lays on. And then we can run the entire thing back through the roller so that it's covered. Pretty simple stuff. I like to run it through twice just to make sure that it sticks well and it's not gonna peel off. Next, we're gonna set this down and grab our razor. This is kind of where it gets a little tricky. Cutting off all of the excess, you just have to make sure it doesn't catch at all and then it peels into the sign. Sometimes I have that happen and it messes it up. You do have to start over. I definitely like to make sure the edges are clean and smooth. It just makes the product look a lot nicer or at least feel nicer. And this is probably most people's favorite part of making signs, even decals is weeding them. It's kind of satisfying. You get to see, you get an idea of what the finished product would kind of look like without it actually being made. I get a lot of questions about making decals for other people. And the reason I don't do it is because the time it takes to make a decal and sell it is like two to three times longer than what it takes to actually make a sign and the profits are way better. It's just not really efficient for me to make them. And I'm so busy with signs, one person can only focus on so many things at once. So if you want to ask, no, I will not make you a decal, at least until I have an employee that could do it for me. This part here of putting the decal on the sign is probably the trickiest part. Trying to get it aligned on these big rectangle signs for some reason is just a lot harder than like a street sign size. Over time and doing hundreds of them at this point, I've gotten a lot better at it and it's easier, but at first it was actually really difficult. So we're gonna take this now and just put it in our roller, fold the decal over, and I like to peel off the back sometimes with these. The ones that have details in them, if I pull it off first, it just removes my chances of ever ripping the decal. Because if that happens, there's no going back. You gotta cut a new decal. It just takes a lot longer. But if you successfully make it through, you've got a beautiful certified forklift operators only sign.